Book Summary by Teddy Bear Storytime The Silver Chair, published in 1953, is the fourth book in C.S. Lewis's Chronicles of Narnia series. It follows Eustace Scrub, who has undergone a significant transformation since his adventure in The Voyage of the Dawn Treader, and his schoolmate Jill Pole. They are called to Narnia by Aslan to rescue Prince Rillian, the son of King Caspian, who has been missing for ten years. The book delves into themes of faith, courage, and perseverance. It contrasts the bleakness of the character's initial setting at Experiment House, a progressive school with oppressive practices, against the mystical and challenging landscapes of Narnia. Characters Eustace Scrub, formerly an unpleasant boy, now reformed and courageous. Jill Pohl, Eustace's friend, new to Narnia, struggling with bullying and insecurity. Puddleglum, a marshwiggle, their pessimistic but loyal guide. Prince Rillian, the missing heir to Narnia's throne, held captive by an enchantress. The Lady of the Green Kirtle, a beautiful but evil witch who has enchanted Rillian. Aslan, the great lion, symbolizing divine guidance. King Caspian, the aging king of Narnia, grieving the loss of his son. Glimfeather, a wise and helpful owl who aids the children. The Giants of Harfang, a deceptive group intending to eat the children. Book Summary Behind the Gym The story begins at Experiment House, a modern and progressive school where bullying is rampant. Eustace Scrub and Jill Pole, both victims of bullying, seek refuge behind the gym. Eustace tells Jill about his previous adventure in Narnia. As they talk, they are chased by bullies and, in their desperation, call upon Aslan for help. The lion appears and blows them into Narnia. Jill and Eustace on the mountain. Jill finds herself alone on a high cliff in Aslan's country. She encounters Aslan, who gives her four signs to follow to find and rescue Prince Rillian. Aslan sends her to Narnia, where she reunites with Eustace. The children are now tasked with following the signs and are joined by the Marshwiggle Puddleglum. This chapter establishes the quest and introduces the guiding principles given by Aslan. The Sailing of the King In Narnia, they learn that King Caspian has sailed off to seek Aslan in his grief over his lost son. Eustace and Jill are given the task of finding Prince Rillian. They start their journey, guided by the signs from Aslan. The chapter highlights the sorrow of the Narnian people and the sense of duty placed upon the children. A Parliament of Owls The children are taken to a council of owls, who tell them the story of Prince Rillian's disappearance and the quest ahead. They are advised to seek out Puddle Glum, a marsh wiggle who will guide them. The chapter emphasizes the mysterious and dangerous nature of their mission. Puddle Glum Eustace and Jill meet Puddle Glum, a pessimistic but loyal and wise guide. He agrees to accompany them on their journey. The chapter focuses on the dynamics between the characters and Puddle Glum's unique worldview, which, despite his pessimism, proves to be grounded and reliable. The Wild Waste Lands of the North The trio ventures into the desolate northern lands, facing various challenges and relying on the signs to guide them. They encounter giants and are taken to the castle of the gentle giants, who seem hospitable but have ulterior motives. The chapter builds suspense and sets up the dangers they will face. The Hill of the Strange Trenches They narrowly escape the giants and find themselves in a labyrinthine trench. Following Aslan's signs, they continue their journey, encountering more obstacles. This chapter emphasizes perseverance and the importance of following divine guidance. The House of Harfang The children and Puddle Glum are welcomed by the giants of Harfang, who pretend to be friendly. They soon discover that they are to be the main course at a feast. The escape from Harfang is tense and thrilling, showcasing their resourcefulness and determination. How they discovered something worth knowing. After escaping Harfang, they find themselves in the Underland. They discover the underground world and learn about the true nature of their quest. The chapter reveals key information about Prince Rillian's captivity and the evil witch who holds him. Travels without the sun. They travel through the dark and eerie Underland, 
facing various dangers and challenges. The oppressive atmosphere and the psychological toll it takes on the characters are vividly described. This chapter heightens the sense of foreboding and suspense. In the Dark Castle They finally reach the Dark Castle where Prince Rillian is held captive. They find him bound to a silver chair, enchanted and unaware of his true identity. This chapter is crucial as it sets up the climax of the story, focusing on the tension and the moral dilemmas faced by the characters. The Queen of Underland The Enchantress returns and tries to thwart their rescue attempt. A battle ensues, and the Enchantress is ultimately defeated. Rillian is freed, and his true identity is restored. The themes of good versus evil and the power of courage and faith are highlighted. Underland to Narnia Rillian, the children, and Puddleglum make their way back to the surface, bringing the news of Rillian's return. The journey back is fraught with challenges, but their spirits are buoyed by their success. This chapter emphasizes the return to normalcy and the restoration of order. The Bottom of the World The group emerges in Narnia, and Rillian is reunited with his father, King Caspian. The reunion is bittersweet as Caspian is on the brink of death. Aslan appears, and a miraculous event occurs, signifying the themes of resurrection and renewal. The Healing of Harms Aslan takes Eustace and Jill back to their world, but not before healing the harms done at Experiment House. The bullies are dealt with, and the school begins to change for the better. The chapter provides a satisfying resolution to the characters' arcs and the story's conflicts. Themes Faith and Perseverance The importance of faith in the face of adversity and the need to persevere through difficult times. Courage and Sacrifice The characters repeatedly show bravery and make sacrifices for the greater good. Redemption and Transformation The story emphasizes the possibility of redemption and personal growth particularly through Rillian's and Eustace's arcs. Good versus evil, the battle between good and evil forces is central, with clear moral distinctions and the ultimate triumph of good. Divine guidance, Aslan's role as a guiding force symbolizes divine intervention and wisdom. Analysis Character development Eustace continues his growth from the voyage of the dawn treader, becoming braver and more responsible. Jill, learns courage and the value of faith, transforming from a bullied girl to a heroic figure. Puddleglum, his pessimism serves as a grounding force, and his loyalty and bravery are crucial to their success. Prince Rillian, his rescue and transformation highlight themes of redemption and restoration. Narrative structure. Episodic structure with each chapter presenting a new challenge or revelation. Integration of character development with the overarching quest. Symbolism. The silver chair represents bondage and the power of evil enchantment. Aslan embodies divine guidance and the ultimate source of wisdom and justice. Experiment House symbolizes the oppressive and misguided nature of modern institutions. Themes. Exploration of faith, courage, redemption and the battle between good and evil. Emphasis on divine guidance and the power of perseverance. Cultural and historical context. Post-World War II sentiments of rebuilding and moral clarity. Influenced by Lewis's Christian beliefs and classical mythology. Conclusion. The Silver Chair by C.S. Lewis is a rich and imaginative addition to the Chronicles of Narnia series, exploring deep themes through a compelling narrative. The journey of Eustace, Jill, and Puddleglum to rescue Prince Rillian is filled with adventure, moral lessons, and spiritual insights. The story's episodic structure keeps readers engaged while the character development and symbolism provide depth and meaning. Themes of faith, courage, redemption, and divine guidance are woven seamlessly into the narrative, making it a timeless and thought-provoking read. The book concludes with a satisfying resolution, reinforcing the triumph of good over evil and the transformative power of belief. The End Love the book summary. Subscribe Teddy Bear's Storytime YouTube channel now. Like the video. Turn on the notifications.
and leave your comments. See you in next book.